Without any type of output, you won't be able to see or hear anything on your computer or print anything on your printer. So output devices are essential when working with computers. An output device conveys information from the computer to its user or performs an action based on a command. Output can take many forms, the image you see on a computer screen, the page that comes out of a printer, or the sound that comes out of the speakers. When you project a slideshow from your laptop onto a large screen for an audience, that display is considered output. Output can also be a synthesized voice that reads screen contents for hearing-impaired individuals. Speech can be displayed as text in another form of output. In this assignment, you'll learn about many types of output devices that enable us to display, print, and otherwise express the results of computer processing. All personal computers have a display device that shows text and images as computer output on a screen. These include touch screens, plasma screens, LCD and LED monitors, and even the screen on a smartphone. Display devices sometimes are called soft copy output. This is in comparison to hard copy output from printers. Most flat panel displays use liquid crystal display, LCD, or light emitting diode, LED technology. LED displays provide deeper blacks and crisper images and require less energy. LED and OLED, organic LED displays, are becoming more common on high-end laptops and TVs. Many computer displays are capable of displaying images at very high resolutions. Display devices labeled 1080p or 1080i show images and video in high definition. You can watch HD TV right on your computer. Some newer display devices are wearable glasses with the ability to display information in 3D. A printer creates hard copy output on paper, film, photo paper, and other media. The most common printers are laser and inkjet. A printer can be connected to a computer or network by cable through a printer port, using a print server, through a USB port, or wirelessly. Inkjet printers print by spraying small dots of colored ink onto paper. Laser printers use a laser beam and toner to print on paper and are faster than inkjet printers. Toner is a fine powder that seals on the page. Color laser printers can print a full range of colors. Other laser printers print only in black and shades of gray. Printer speed is measured in pages per minute, ppm. A multifunction device, MFD, or all-in-one printer, can function as an input device by copying and scanning documents and as an output device by sending faxes and printing. Three-dimensional printers can create objects based on computer models. These printers use special plastics to generate objects. Photo printers connect directly to a camera's USB port or include a card reader to print photos directly from a camera card. A mobile printer is a small, lightweight printer that you can attach to your laptop or smartphone for on-the-go printing. Many mobile printers work with Bluetooth wireless technology. Mobile printers are battery-powered and use inkjet or thermal technology to print. Thermal technology either uses wax-based ink or burns dots onto coated paper to print. Because a mobile printer is so small, it fits easily into a laptop case. Their small size, however, prevents some mobile printers from using standard 8.5 by 11-inch paper. Instead, they print on smaller, sometimes odd-sized papers. A large format printer is a special kind of printer that is capable of printing on very large sheets of paper. Some large format printers, called plotters, use charged wires to produce high-quality drawings for professional applications, such as architectural drawings and blueprints. Graphic artists and designers use large format inkjet printers to print large drawings, posters, and photographs. Audio output includes recorded music, spoken voice, soundtracks for movies or video, computer-generated music, or other sounds, such as the beeps a computer emits if you make an error. Speakers can be built into a computer, smartphone, or tablet. Wired or wireless external speakers can also be added to a system. By adding speakers to a computer system, you can have enhanced sound for your music or videos.
If you want to listen to sound in a public space, headphones are an option for many devices. They can be connected via a USB or other cable, or can be wireless. Mobile phones and digital music players have jacks for headphones or earbuds, which are speakers small enough to place in your ears. If you want to video chat or use your computer for telephone calls over the web, a headset is a good option. Headsets include speakers for output and a microphone for input. Projectors, sometimes referred to as data or video projectors, let you display computer output on a wall or projection screen. Many projectors work with dual screens, so you can view a slightly different output on your computer. For example, a presentation with speaker notes, while your audience just sees the presentation. Projectors can be connected to a computer wirelessly or via a cable. Some projectors also include an iPod dock, so that you can project any video stored on an iPod or iPhone and share it with a wider audience. Newer projectors can be very small, even built into a smartphone, tablet, or laptop. They display the information from the mobile device on a large screen. And finally, some projectors even work with 3D imagery to project holograms of 3D objects. A voice synthesizer is an audio output device that converts text to speech. When you dial 411 for directory assistance, you often encounter a synthesized voice. The U.S. National Weather Service also uses a synthesized voice to read up-to-the-minute weather data. Text-to-speech technology uses digitized voice files that can be interpreted by a computer. Some operating systems have built-in voice synthesizers. For example, Windows 7 has a program called Narrator that can read screen contents. This feature enables visually impaired users to hear rather than read screen contents. Other software converts speech to text for those who are hearing impaired. Many training videos include the option to turn on subtitles so that users can watch the action on the screen and read what is being said in the voiceover. Voice recognition software takes speech as input and can convert it to text. Some voice recognition systems can even respond to commands with a synthesized voice.